welcome to the Zurich airport. So we spent a day in Zurich. If you're interested, check the previous previous vlog for our day trip in Zurich for three hours. And now we're heading to Moscow. So we're yeah, gonna do- Swiss Air short haul flight. There which you go. Is set, the business is set. Normal seats, just one empty one in the middle, so. Yeah, it's not the best business class in the world, but you we'll get that extra seat. Kind of snacks we get, and pillows are important. All right, those are important. Kate's I'm tired. Important. She really wants to go to sleep, so. <laughs> I just um, said I'm important. I meant the pillows. But we're gonna head into the lounge and enjoy the lounge, have a shower, and eat some food. Actually, that's past tense. We just did that. Um, but we're we're going into the lounge. He's gonna edit it. Though. Show you the lounge. Um, had a shower there. Have really shower? nice. No, Don't had a shower. Do it. <laughs> it's a really nice lounge, though. Thoughts? Katie was asleep half the time on the couch. I'm trying. Anyhow, now to the flight. I'll show you what it's like. Short haul Swiss business class. Taking along with. Come on. So we're in the business lounge. This is the the Swiss la business lounge, and it's towards the A terminals. You can use it if you're flying a D or E as well, though. They are quite busy, but there's lots of food options. So chef cooking food. You got seating options. Lots of different things you can do in here. It's great. So I just had a shower, but you can see just a quick little shot. It's quite nice. It's all sort of like that nice tiled floors. Nice full shower. Just nice to be able to sort of freshen up and get the sweat off after a long day of travel. So it was a quick shower, really easy to get in. I was in here in like 30 seconds of them walking in the lounge, so nice option. And the uh, Senator, sorry, this is the lounge next to the Senator one, just the business Swiss lounge. Kind of funny, we actually didn't realize we had to go back through customs because we had to clear through customs to get to our gate. And uh, here we go, we're pretty much here now. But we, we thought we were like right at our gate at the lounge. We would still to go through customs and everything. Anyways, keep that in mind. If you're going out of the D, you have to clear customs before you fly out. We were still behind in the, Europe, in the EU. It wasn't a big deal because in Switzerland they're so fast, so we got through so quickly, but anyways. So we're seated here, it's a bit of a gong show getting on, but you can see like this is the window seat, the uh, middle seat, and then my seat. And they just don't fill the one in the middle, so this is kind of like our junk seat. We put all of our junk there. Junk. Um, sick entertainment system too. That Airbus 320 folder will keep you busy for a little while. So if you're flying on this, you might want to bring your own entertainment. Otherwise, it's pretty basic. It's essentially like an economy class with this empty seat in the middle. And you get a bottle of water. We should actually get a meal too. So on the menu today, we had an option of a vegetarian beef dish. So we have beef and polenta, some salad, some sort of dessert, and sherbet. And Katie has the and cheese has the cheese. If you give her a block of cheese, you can literally give her nothing else and she'll be ecstatic. Just cheese and chocolate. She's very tired. The one bonus for me, the extra middle seat, is that I can work on one, eat on the other, and absorb all the space. So basically, Katie's flying economy and I'm flying business. How's your hotel? That's my hotel. <laughs> so similar to all of our last flights that we've done to the Brussels there and the towns at the end of 3x3 planes, we have to sit empty. Nothing special. Yeah, totally fine to sit on though. The food is okay. Okay for short or short haul, but not as good as like a, an Air Canada or an EDA Air. Those short haul ones are still like a 2x2, two two, which is a lot nicer than a 3x3. Three um, there's no power in the seat, no USB charger, so my laptop's not, I couldn't charge it anymore. Again, not the end of the world, but it's nice perks that a lot of other lot of business classes still have on short run. Welcome to our so awesome humble abode. This is the Aerotel Domodovo. Uh, we we're staying here for one night on our way to St. Petersburg. Petersburg. Katie, tell me, how was your flight with Swiss Air? Um, their service was really, really attentive. She hated the food. 
I hated the food. My food was okay. And though. they asked me if I wanted water five million times, which I really liked, because you could just I could have just drank whatever I wanted the whole flight. But I'm no pillows, no blankets. Seats were uncomfortable. It reminded me of like an Allegiant style seat. It's economy. No, but those that's not like so comparable to like an Air Canada economy or like a WestJet economy. Um, or like a Delta, like that kind of thing. It was more of like a budget airline economy. Welcome to 3x3 three three internal airline flights. So final summary, oh. not great, not great. That's fi fine. Fine. I don't Beautiful. know, it's the end of our journey. I think if it was the beginning, I would have been more positive. The guy was attentive, really nice. Alrighty, and now we are going to leave you with a wonderful sight of a storm coming in here. We had to close our window because it was starting to rain and we thought it was gonna blow the window down. So we'll see you guys tomorrow when we head to St. Petersburg and get our trip started, finally! Vlog's not over yet, it's just getting lit now. <laughs> I ordered chicken kebabs, we got chicken wings. That's cool. And then we got a pizza. Just take out. So we're sitting here working in this fine room, enjoying our fine view. Look at that sun. And now the vlog's about to get boring. So we'll see you guys tomorrow when we head to St. Petersburg. <laughs>